Okay, hello guys and welcome to Spay Brothers' small series of fly tying for Atlantic Salmon. Uh, in this first episode we are going to tie a fly, tube fly called Strömsö, which has given me some very serious salmon, so stay tuned. So, uh, first before I'm going to tie, uh, I say a few words about the tubing. Uh, I normally use only one size tubing because materials I'm going to use is, uh, they are a bit different than most, most of the materials that you guys are using. Uh, I'm going to use a polar beer, which is here, diet orange. And then I have a monkey hair here and because both of these uh, materials are qu quite stiff and fat from the stem side, uh, we have to have some room for tying them in. So if uh, I use a small size tubing, I have a problems to keep them really up there on the top of the tube. So that's why I'm using only one size tubing. You you can do it however you want, but this is my 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 way to do it. So this is a clear tube, size large, and uh, and uh, I'm going to use black thread, tying thread, and uh, I'm starting here from the middle of the tube because I have much more longer tube than that I'm going to use because I, I will cut it after I have placed all the materials then afterwards. So I make the some rounds of, of tying thread here and cut the stems off. Then uh, at the back part of the body is uh, this is a SSS hollow braid from the Nickel proteins production, protein flies production, and and uh, this is a colored Alta, Alta Gold, and uh, we are going to use this this one for the back part of the tube. Then, because I don't want to have a quite long body or a long tube here, I I just tie it in for the like a less than one centimeter, and. Uh, Wrap it in. Then I'm going to use... Uh, actually, I don't like to use a cone heads. I don't know why. They are good and in some, some flies I use them, but uh, mostly if I want to have some weight for the fly, I use this old style lead wire. And uh, in this fly, I'm going to put some under the front of the body, which is, I tie it in like this and wrap it here a few rounds, maybe four to five rounds of this lead wire. And then I cut this stems off and go with the thread back and forward few times like this I lock the lead wire here yeah then uh, front of the body is um, dub it from the from the dubbing this is uh, also this is SSS glees from the protein production and uh, it's a color rusty rusty olive which is a very good color for every kind of flies I pinch them a bit because they are the fibers are maybe too long for for my taste. So I dab dab it here, and always when you dab these kind of materials, dabbing must must be doing at the one way, not round, but on the one way. Then 
tie it in. Don't try the two at, at the one time. Just again, pinch a bit, make them a bit shorter. Then dub only one way. Like this. And then cover the whole lead wire. Maybe a bit more. Here. Like this. Then if you want to brush it out a bit, you can do it. I don't do it that much because I don't want it to be so so flossy. So it's quite okay if it's a bit open it but not that much. Yeah. And the wing is is uh, we are going to make a wing. First layer is uh, from the polar pier, which is here, diet orange, and this is actually hot orange. If you see it, I hope it, and uh, I take this four from the stems away from here, then check it out again and place it. This shouldn't be longer than the tube, because there is a tubing here, which are going to hold the hook, and underwing is here to uh, support the overwings and also keep them out from the hook if you're using for example treble hook here tie it in like this i don't want it to spread to the sizes somebody may may want but i don't because uh, in this this type of wing what which we are going to do uh, it's it's the key point that the wing is staying up here on the top of the tube second layer of the wing is uh Fox hair. This is the Arctic fox, and the color is actually called Mörum. Mörum is a river on the southern Sweden, and uh, I don't know, but this is a maybe like in banana flies they use something like this. But this is a bit darker and maybe a bit dirtier color than in the banana. But this this is very good in here when you tie fly, flies like this. I take a punch and uh, pinch out these fibers here from the back part. Then I check it out a bit, maybe fix it a bit like this. Then add it straight here on the top of the lower wing. A bit longer than the polar bear. And keep it here like this and now I secure this with a warnis I don't want to use a super glue because there is always a problems with the super glue if, if it goes to the wing so I I prefer warnis in here few rounds more. Then I do it like this. I f make a few rounds here, lock the stems here. Then I have um, this very hard brush and I'm going to explode with this. Like this. Brush it out. You can do it very actually hard. much better when they mix a bit. Uh, when I tied first Strömsö many years ago, uh, I used it, this very special colored hackle bolt because this is a very unique color and I have never seen color like this no, nowhere, elsewhere. Never. <laughs> but I found from my local fishing store, I found a almost same same color tackle. This is not not so shiny when you compare these ones. Uh, there is a 
bit differences here. It's this is a maybe more like orange, orange fruit, and this is a this is a called amber. I tied in, then I took oh, this one thread again here, so then I wet it, and tie only a few, few rounds. I don't want, want it to be so fat, fat hackle, so only two rounds is good. Then roll the thread back and lock to hackle here. Lock it in. Like this. This one we can cut away, this stem here. Okay, here we have a monkey hair. And uh, when I tie the wing from the monkey hair, I normally do it with the two punches. The first punch is a bit fatter and it's only a bit longer than this, this fox hair here. And the uh, top of the wing is going to be very thin and quite long. But here you can see when you place the monkey hair, if you have a, if you have a very small tubing, it's going to spread to the sizes and it's not good for the monkey. So monkey must be on the top of the wing here, at the center. Here you can a little bit move it, but with a, with a small tubing it's, 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 not, it's very, very hard to do it. Almost impossible. No, it's like here. You can see here, it's, a, it's the middle of the wing here. Then secure it with varnish again. All the layers are good to secure. Having a drop here. It doesn't matter if it goes to the wing side here. Then again, a few rounds. We are making a fishing fly, not the fly for showing the, uh, the other guys. And then Again, now we are going to find a little bit longer, longer hair here, but not fat. We need a, we need it to be thin and long. This looks good here, ain't it? This must be very center here, on the top of the wing. If it's not, it looks really stupid, you know. Like this. Hope you can see it here. And then secure. Now we cut uh, all the stems at the uh, same time. And you have to have a very sharp knife, like I do here. I change these plates all the time, so I don't know why, but, but uh, for example, polar bear and bucktail, they are very, very hard materials, so they, those plates can't stand them very many times, so, so you have to use every time a new one, like this. Cut it at the same time, hold the wing with another hand and cut them like this. And if you have some some stems here you can cut them with a 
with the scissors. Yeah. Now you can see it is very much easier to place the monkey because monkey is quite stiff from here. So so and it's slippery. It's slippery material. If you have a small tubing, it, it just go to another side or to another side. But with this larger tubing, it's easier to do. Like this. Then I add some flashable. This is a rainbow, rainbow angel hair or something similar. I take only a few fibers here, not much, oh, maybe maybe four, four, five, six fibers here. Then I place them at the very center again and fold them back here. Tied it in. Then I cut them like this. Not, not for the same length. If there is a too much, you can take them away if you would like to. But uh, they shouldn't be longer than a uh, than a longest hair from the monkey. So you can cut them a bit here, like this. The sizes are from the jungle gok, and uh, I use. I like to use the smaller ones. I don't. Uh, I have. I have done some flies with the big ones, but uh, maybe the medium-sized jungle goks are better in here than the very long ones. So, so I try to have here a pair, which I'm going to use. Those are looking quite good here. Yeah. And the jungle gox must be like this, like a roof, because they can't be tied in like flat like this. They have to be like like a roof over the over the wing. Yeah, better. At my size first. And your size here. And make sure they are in the same length. Uh, this is a fly I'm using mostly in uh, in early season in Norway, and uh, it has been very good in Scotland also. Uh, I'm fishing in April on Sme on the River Spey, and it, this has been very good in there, but maybe in the smaller sizes. But uh, this is a quite a normal size for the early season to Norway and especially when the water has a little color in it. And I have landed some very big fish with them. My biggest with this one is 40 pounder, so, so it's a very good fly. It also works at the sunny days, even you have a very clear water, so, so it's a very good fly. Someone loves it. <laughs>